New Brunswick have finally decided to take this employment thing to the next level. They are coming to different countries to hire people to move into New Brunswick and work for them. This is happening in April. One thing I can say is that a lot of opportunity keeps coming up every day and all you have to do is key into it and you never can tell which one is going to favor you. Because today I've got an amazing news for a lot of you here. New Brunswick has come with it again. I've done a video before about New Brunswick an opportunity in New Brunswick that can help you move to Canada. And here I am again with more amazing news about New Brunswick. If you have not watched the video I did about New Brunswick, go and check out that video in uh, my Canada playlist, okay? So today I am going to show you an amazing opportunity again for you to move to Canada this one has to do with in-person interview they are coming your way to interview you and you would be able to secure a job and move to canada okay if you're new to this channel my name is Oge, and on this channel i show you ways you can move abroad if that is what interests you this channel helps you find your way abroad without paying any agency you have to do it yourself and i will help you show you these things these are research that i have already made and i'm bringing it to you so that you watch them and find your way to whichever country you want to move to so if this is what interests you please kindly subscribe to this channel you're not paying for subscription neither are you going to pay for liking this video so hit the like button share to your family and friends so that YouTube will also recommend it to others who need this video, okay? New Brunswick have come with it again for an in-person interview. A lot of my subscribers are in the UK. A lot of my subscribers are also in the um, island. And this opportunity is coming up in April, on the 25th and 27th of April. You will see this by the time I start showing you how to make this application because I'll show you how to make the application. I will put the link to that application in the description box. So um, this application, you might still not attend this interview in person because you know one thing about in-person interview, a lot of people get jobs from that, okay? So, you might still not attend the inter in-person interview. You might be so lucky that you would be picked earlier and interviewed virtually. So, I'm going to show you the link. I'm going to um, guide you on how to make this application. And I will leave the link in the description box. This um, in-person interview is going to happen in April. And they are coming to two different countries. They are coming to two different countries. So they are coming to Birmingham and they are coming to Ireland. So if you're in the United Kingdom, you can apply to this in-person interview coming up. And if you're in Ireland, you can apply to this in-person interview coming up as well. And it's coming on the 25th of April for those in the United Kingdom. They are coming to Birmingham. And on the 27th of April, 2024, they are coming to Ireland, Dublin. So apply to this and look out for their email. They might invite you for a virtual interview and you wouldn't bother going for the um, in-person interview anymore a lot of people have gotten job through this particular 
way. So get ready for it and let's go and apply. Remember to always, always submit a good CV. This one, you need to submit a CV that is Canadian standard. Make sure you submit a good CV. And if you don't know how to do that, check out the link in the description. I will drop the link to a video I made regarding writing of CV. And if you feel that you can still not do it yourself, the link is also in the description box for you to reach out to me and book for a CV revamping or CV review. So if you want me to construct your CV, reach out to me with the link in the description box and I will help you achieve an amazing CV. Also make sure that you have experience before you apply for this job and let's get right into it. So guys, this is the website we are talking about today. Welcome to the registration page for the GNB Skill Trades and Healthcare Recruitment, Birmingham and Dublin. Skill Trades and Healthcare Recruitment. So uh, these are the things you're going to fill in today. The first one is your first name. You're going to fill in your first name. You're going to fill in your second name. You're going to fill in your email. You're going to fill in your email so that you can be able to apply. Okay. Then you confirm your email. Make sure you type it in for the purpose of time. That's why I'm copying and pasting. Then select the desired date to attend the in-person event. Are you going for Birmingham, which is on the 25th of April? Or are you going for the one at Dublin, which is on the 27th of April? I'm choosing the one of 25th of April. So you come here and you will see the jobs the noc selection and job specification questions this is also the employers in new brunswick's that are recruiting recruiting for positions with the following knock so for nurse aides oddlies and patient service associates uh pattern makers textile leather and for products cooks uh, sheet metal workers, electricians, plumbers, uh, stem fitters, pipe fitters and sprinkler system installers, carpenters, bricklayers, heavy duty equipment machines, heating and uh, heating, refrigeration and air conditioning mechanics, automotive service technicians truck and business mechanics and mechanical repairers crane operators concrete finishers plasterers drywall installers and finishers and ladders roofers and shinglers painters and decorators except interior decorators truck transport truck drivers so those of you that are saying that you're truck drivers and you have not seen where to apply and those in construction, this is for you. All those that have handiwork, this is for you. Um, and as well as healthcare workers, uh, heavy equipment operators, construction trades, helpers and laborers, industrial sewing machine operators, furniture and fixture assemblers finishers refinishers and inspectors so these are the job roles they will be hiring for okay select your knock you choose the one that you want to apply for in which country do did you in which country did you do your training you can put in your country 
put in the country you trained in okay mm, then how many years of recent experience do you have in the selected occupation you can put in how many years of experience that you have got okay do you have a valid driving license if you have you say yes if you don't have you say no then do you have which country issuing country of your license the moment you say yes they will ask you the country that issued you your license okay then do you have a valid canadian federal express entry profile number if you have you tell them yes and if you don't have you say no do you have a valid inb profile number if you have you say yes if you don't have you say no and then make sure you put in the right information and then tick the boss okay so the moment you save it it will take you to another page this is a four page application four page application do you have a high school diploma or certificate if you have you say yes if you don't have you say no what is your formal education field you key in your formal education field here key it in then do you have a valid educational credential assessment this is mostly for people that want to move to canada and if you have it you say yes if you don't have it tell them that you do not have it but of course you should know that you will be ready to get it awaiting result the moment you say it they will require for the uh, number okay see the date of application so if you don't have it just say no then skilled work experience your work experience must be at least one year so take this um ha have this in mind it must be at least one year continuous full time or an equal amount in part time you have to look at this and um, understand it well in your primary profession or a similar field in the last five years paid work volunteer work and unpaid internship do not count so it should be a paid work and not a volunteer please upload your resume um upload it here so when you do that you click on i have consented i i consent to having my resume shared with new brunswick employer okay then you save and next country of citizenship you choose your country of citizenship okay this is nigeria a uh, country of legal residence you choose the country of legal residence date of birth you include your date of birth and then um what is your level of english competency advanced what is your level of french competency um it depends on you basic have you completed a language test you let them know if you have or if you have not then proof of form you need to understand this proof of form thing read and understand how many dependents do you have here do not count yourself if you're married count just your husband and children and then include how many you are you might be two one might be just you and your spouse then one child two children uh three children that's with your spouse or five or more it depends on you do you have relations in new brunswick canada if you say yes they will ask you where um if you don't have you say no do you have close relatives in another canada province you say yes or no depending on your uh, situation okay so it depends on you where in canada if you say you have some someone elsewhere you include it okay if you don't have you say no 
so you continue this is page two of three save and next okay then then this is the page three of four please note that canada recognizes common law relationship who have prohibited for more a minimum of one year okay so you know the, the answer that suits you you answer if you say yes more information will be needed if you say no that's it and then uh, you move on then you save and next so for the last page conclusion please note that if you are contacted by an um a new brunswick employer you may be asked to conduct your interview virtually so this is it if you're contacted you might do your interview virtually you don't even need to come for a physical interview anymore so i'll be stopping here i won't be saving it because i have not included um, the right information for it okay this is just for the purpose of this video kindly go and apply i hope this video was of great help to you you would agree with me that a lot of opportunities are out there waiting for you make sure you click on the notification bell when you click there click on all so that you will be able to get notification whenever i upload a new video because i'll be bringing you amazing information here every now and then until next time make sure that you always prepare yourself and get yourself ready for amazing opportunities that are coming your way so guys see you in my next one bye